Okay, ever wondered how power brake vacuum assist works? Well, I am here. It all starts at the brake pedal. When you push your foot onto the your main goal in doing this action is to move the piston, which is that thing, the piston, you want to move it inward, which it increases the fluid pressure, which is the brake, the brake fluid, it increases the, the brake fluid pressure, which results in moving the brake pad, which breaks your car. Now, in this drawing, um, you have a chamber, a vacuum chamber, and on this side, and then over here, you have a chamber where it may or may not be a vacuum. This little area right here is where the vacuum can go into this chamber right here that makes it a vacuum or not. Now what happens is there are hinges, one right here and then one down below right here. And these hinges make this enable to move. Now when you press on the brake pedal, it'll these there are seals right here right here and right here and here uh, basically this seal and this seal when you press on the brake pedal this it'll open it'll allow atmospheric air into this chamber which in effect now when you press on the gas pedal this this part right here will move this way and it'll basically it'll block off this or whatever so the air cannot go, it cannot go back and forth. Now when you press on the gas pedal, you will, when you have, you will let in atmospheric air in here, and essentially you'll have a vacuum on one side, and this will shut off, it'll close that off, and high pressure on this side, which in turn will, uh, high pressure and low pressure differential will make the, this plate right here move this way it'll move it want to go that way which in turn which will make it, it easier for you to push on the gas pedal thus pushing the piston this way that way and that'll push the fluid increase the pressure and do what the, the main goal was is increase fluid pressure move the brake pad and brake the car and your intake manifold is is connected to this whatever so when you have your car off or you're not you're not braking or whatever this whole area is just filled with vacuum the whole area is filled with vacuum so if you press the brake in when the engine's not running it'll push in at first but then you won't have that uh, differential pressure so it won't be it'll be pretty hard to push it in so it'll be it'll be harder to push the gas pedal in to eventually move that piston inward so that so having a vacuum assisted brakes is really really good and easier and it the, the system is mounted right behind your brake fluid in your car like right behind the chamber like behind the uh, the reservoir it's usually like a, a circle type disc looking it's all about creating a pressure differential